G'day all, welcome back to Dad vs. Son in our playthrough of Stalingrad 42 from GMT Mark Simonich and we're about to go on with the Soviet part of turn 17 which is the first turn in the early autumn, early fall um, scenario. Righto, so first up Da, da, da. No air units. Remove train markers, and they have no train markers out. So that's done. Fortifications under construction are now completed, which is our two. Oops. Yep. Fortifications down here. And just knock that die over. Okay, uh, two resource points, and I'm going to bring on one supply, there you go, and one fortress. Um, and the fortress I'm going to place down under Krasnodar. Um, again, just trying to stop this stuff coming down through this. In fact, I'll put it here to start with, because the next one can go there. Um, the supply I'm going to bring on um, I'm going to bring on over in the Caspian um, so I'll chuck him over there and that way he can come back around for these two support units here uh, okay SPs to flip ASUs, and we don't have to worry about that at all. Oh, tal, tal. Uh, Axis reinforcements. Okay, so Axis reinforcements this time, we have this single step infantry unit, a normal two step infantry unit. One that's a little bit better, and they get their Chukov leader, who has a range of two and can give a reroll for a determined defense. Okay, so they're going to come on up north, um, and I'm going to bring them on in C. So that Chukov can come back down and around behind Stalingrad. Um, <coughs> excuse me. I'm going to bring the single step unit on in A. And... Bum, bum, bum. Along with those other two units as well, we're going to uh, try and push. We're really going to put pressure on these units up here. So we've got all these units that can come on this time to give the uh, Axis a hard time. Right to O. Uh, replacements. And we have uh, two. I'm an idiot, aren't I? I thought it was a cavalry. I was looking at the wrong one. Uh, two infantry and one armour. Okay. So let's just forget about that bugger for a moment. Um, two infantry and an armour. So what I'm going to do then is I'm going to... What did I have organised over here? <gasps> dun, dun, dun. Oh, sorry. One other thing. This mob, turn 17, 
Remove any tank core. First tank core returns turn 26. The first tank core has been eliminated. So the only tank core I have available that's full is this one here. So he is going to be removed like that and he will come back on on turn 26. in full strength. Well, in fact, I'll take him off and I'll actually just exchange him because it's not going to make any difference for the first tank core because he comes back on full strength anyway. So it's just a numbers game. Righto, so we've got uh, our replacements now. Now, I thought I'd marked them out, but I'm being silly. Okay. So I have one infantry down here, which is the NKVD. So that's our replacement. We'll just leave that there. In Grozny, our second infantry replacement, sorry, I'm trying not to make you motion sick, is going to be over here. Just leave that there so we know. And the third replacement then is a panzer. Oh, sorry, it can't be a panzer. Is going to be, you know, if I make it him, then I'm going to have to pull him back. Do, 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 do. Now I've left an opening here now. In, because I wasn't aware what was happening. Um, but yeah, I, I have little choice other than bringing another one on, which has been, which would come on reduced, which is probably not a bad idea anyway. So we're going to do that. So we're going to bring a reduced panzer on eventually. Um, the one we just actually took off to exchange for um, one panzer core. A panzer, one armored core, um, and we're going to bring that on. We will bring it on eventually in C, I believe. So that's that. No axis lead, uh, no leaders to flip, no planned offensive. So we're into the movement phase. So I'll pause it there, and we'll come back with the movement. It won't be long. Rightio, so we're good to go. So we're just going to start down here in the uh, the south east to begin with. So the supply will come down to here. Again, I'm just going to leave that on there so I don't forget. Um, this guy here is going to come up one, two, three, four, five, six. Oops. Ah, I forgot to check. Sorry, the. Uh, terrain chart for rough is one yep and for mountain is two okay <clears throat> so this guy's going to go one two three four five six because he can work out what those nasty, nasty Axis people are up to with this guy. And he wants to get into Mount Elbrus before he does, if possible. Um. Yeah, because these Alpine regions, only the mountain troops can get into. So... That's everything there. Now if we come back down this way towards the Taman area, um, what I'm going to do is move this guy here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Into where we're fortifying this. And this guy's then going to come forward. One, two, three, four, five, six. Back into there. So now we've got people all along here, but I still need to get
hit something up in there. Um, so that's everything down there that I wanted to move. Uh, we might come up to the northwest now because we're going to put in a counterattack. So I'm going to bring these units here on and they're going to go one to there like that then these units are going to come on and go one two and this unit will come on for a one and they have totally surrounded and invested the hungarian forces there like i said we had to watch out for those soviets we have nothing else along the northern aspect except for the new supply coming down. Um, so we can see everything that's happening there. Okay, just got to go around the other side of the table. Apologies. So this armoured unit here, I'm just going to bring back into here like that. Okay. Uh, the two supplies here, we're going to go half, one, half, two, half, three, half, four, half into here. And this goes up to two supply again. And this one will come down to here. And we will simply swap it over for a one supply dump like that and these two supplies then become available for next turn uh, these two units here are going to go one two three four five six like that these disrupted units are going to go one two to there across the volga again coming down so We'll have units to feed back into Stalingrad. We have the supply up north here. Oh, sorry, they are leader up north here who has a movement of seven, moves like mechanized. So he's going to go half one, half two, half three, half four, half five, half six, half seven to there. With these here, I need to fill this gap. So this guy is simply going to go two and a half to there. Um, I can't get him in where, well, let's go different. Let's go three, four, five, like that. And now we have our block there again. And with this one here, we're simply gonna move one down. So we still have our Zoc bond behind the river here. It's only a minor river. This, these guys can come around, but again, we still have our Zoc bond and we're trying to facilitate. Okay. Um, I'm also going to move the Volga flotilla up a little bit further. So I can get over there if I want, or I can try and whoop, back and out. And that's all the movement for the Soviet forces this turn. Um, if my voice is a bit funny, sorry, but I've got a, a, a bit of a right ear problem and uh, I've got some drops and some cotton wool in it. So, Okay, so I'll stop there, uh, pause it, have a look at uh, combat and be back to you shortly. Okay, back again. Okay, well, Commissar Khrushchev, wanted to do a, uh, an attack at a Stalingrad against this uh, reduced panzer division using these people here and at least one of the uh, support units, but the best they could get was a two to one. So uh, they decided it just wasn't worth it. Stalin vetoed it, even though he wants them to be aggressive, he doesn't want them to be stupid. So the only attack the only combat going forward will be this one up here. 
which is at a three to one against the Hungarians. So let's see what happens to those poor buggers. Three to one for a four is an A1 and D1. So the Hungarians will take the loss on their infantry. They've now lost two infantry divisions total. And the Soviets will take the loss on this infantry here. Okay, so it's an A1, D1 with a um, two retreat. So we've got this guy here on the other side, so we can come back behind him. So we are going to retreat one, two, through the Zoc bond, which we can break because of that. And he is now disrupted. And the Soviets have an advance two. Now there is six there, and we have two, six, nine there, <laughs> which is the best we've got. So we can't come up into here at all. So these guys are going to come up here. These guys are going to come up here. And this little fella here What do I want to do with him? I'm just going to bring him up No, I don't want to I'm just going to leave him here for the time being uh, For the simple fact being that um, if I bring him out by himself here or here, then they may come down and try and do something nasty to him, which they don't really, we don't want them to do. So that is that. We don't have enough forces to do a follow-up by a single stack into there. So that's it for combat for the Soviets, in which case we're into the recovery phase. So this disrupted can come off. Uh, 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 uh. Our replacement marker can come off the Panzer. There's nothing else there we can do. So we can have a look around here. This disrupted marker can come off here now. We can get rid of that. There's nothing else there we need to worry about. We can remove the replacement marker down here of the NKVD and replace his victory point die. And then we can come over here and remove this replacement marker from here. And we have nobody in full retreat that we have to worry about. And we have nobody anywhere else that I can see that we need to worry about. So that's that. We don't have any railhead markers, so it's supply status. So again, everything here is fine. These are all fine. Everybody along the southern area is fine as well. Looking towards the Stalingrad area again, everybody is behind this river sort of area and is fine. And this bloke can always get into here and then back out. This bloke here is stuffed and is now out of supply. Um, looking up this way, these are all fine. Looking in here. This guy is now out of supply. 
this guy here can't trace out this way or this way into a zone of control and know where to go, zone of control. So he's out of supply as well. Oops, sorry, wrong one. This little fella here can't go this way. Uh, can't go into here, can't go into here, so he's out of supply as well. And if we look up here, these guys are fine, these guys are fine, this guy's already isolated. Well, this stack is already isolated. Okay. Uh, da, da, da. Just go back to isolation attrition then. Right, oh, so looking at these poor little people again, we have these two in here. We gain, we don't do ASUs, so we'll do the full strength one first. We need a five or a six. He gets a four, so he's down one. And then we do the reduced one, who is gone. Okay. Rightio, so that is that um, isolation attrition is done spend SPs to flip again I uh, don't have one up there these guys are both good these guys are both good dum 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 that's it so we are done so that's the end of turn 17. Um, well, when we come back, it'll be turn 18. Yep, yep, yep. Which will be, and once we've done that, that's halfway through the game. So we are still at, uh, for the Axis, at 12 VP, which with the uh, automatic victory means that we can play up to turn 18 at the moment. That's our plus six. Um, and if, like I said, if we lose uh, VP hexes, then I'll adjust that as we go. But at the moment, yeah, we're good up to uh, turn 21, I should say, at the moment. So it's getting a bit more iffy. So turn... 18 is actually where we're supposed to have uh, 12 VP, which is where we are. And then turn 19 goes 14, 16, 18, 19, 20, 21 sort of thing. Um, so, yeah, going to be interesting. So take care, be good, have fun, and I'll catch you next time. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.